Welcome to MathWorksheet.org. Today I want to show you how to solve uh, when given a triangle and a missing length. Now it's not just any triangle, we're going to be talking about a right triangle. So to determine when we have a right triangle or not, we want to look at the angles. And right triangles tell us they're right by the little, little square box. So that means we have a 90 degree angle, or we call a right angle. Now, when we have a right angle, that helps us out because what that does is that tells us certain characteristics about the side of the right triangle. The side length of the triangle that is across from the right angle is what we call the hypotenuse, which is going to be the longest leg of your right triangle. The other two, le the other two side lengths are what we call our legs of a triangle. Now, they have two different names, but those depend on the angle inside of the triangle that we're given. So here, I'm talking about this angle, theta. And theta can just represent you know, any angle length. Well, the side length, the leg that connects your angle theta and your right angle is what we call the adjacent side. And the side length that is opposite of your angle theta is what we call the, the opposite leg. So now, to solve for a missing uh, side length in a right triangle, what we can use is three functions. These functions are sine, cosine, and tangent. And these are very helpful because what they use is the ratios of the side lengths given to find either a missing angle or a missing side length. So here's my triangle. What, it's, what I need to do first is determine what I have. I have a right angle. Then I know that the side length across my right angle is my hypotenuse. So therefore now I'm given a hypotenuse, which is 16. They give me an angle, which is theta, so now I know I have an angle. And then we know that the side length that is directly across from my angle is called my opposite. So to find which function I'm going to want to use, I'm given an opposite, a hypotenuse, and an angle. So let's go back and look at my three functions and see which one uses an opposite and a hypotenuse and an angle. Well, you can see the best choice is going to be sine. So I'll say sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Now remember, theta represents your angle. So I'm going to say sine of 74 degrees equals my opposite side, which I do not know, so it's x, over 16. Now it's going to be helpful to either have a table of your trig values or to use a scientific calculator to figure out what sine of 74 is. So I evaluate for sine of 74 and what I obtain is 0.96. So when I round it out, sine of 74 is 0.96 and that equals x over 16. So now to find my the value of x, I need to get rid of the 16. So the 16, I'm dividing this x by the 16. So to undo division, I need to multiply by 16 on both sides. And when I do that, I get 15.4, those cancel out to 1, equals x. Therefore, I have now just determined that the opposite leg of my triangle is 15.4. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how you solve a missing a length of a right triangle by using your trig functions. Please make sure you visit mathworksheet.org for more help. Thanks for watching.